Have you heard of the Jug of Justice? See, this jug of water has become a national symbol for the student revolutions for Palestine. But how did that start? Well, it actually started with the students at Cal Poly Humboldt, a small school in California with majority working class students. See, Cal Poly Humboldt only has 5,858 undergraduate students, making it one of the smallest universities to participate in pro-Palestinian student protests. And although they're a small school, what they lack in numbers, they compensate with passion. See, Cal Poly Humboldt students successfully defended their encampment against police, pushing them out and preventing them from entering the encampment at all. And I guess it's because they're Gen Z, however, a lot of people are pointing out that the strategies that they're using to defend their encampment are the same techniques learned during school shooting drills. It's extremely interesting, however, is how the Cal Poly Humble students were so quick to highlight the connection between the pro-Palestinian movement, policing, and abolition. They claimed in a statement that the pro-Palestinian movement must be a movement against the police. The reasoning is that at every step, police will not hesitate to brutalize those who will call for an end to genocide in Palestine. In Gaza, Palestinians face the Izzy military. In the U.S., we face the police. We must recognize that these forces are one and the same. They are all foot soldiers of empire. All of this gets crazier when you learn that one in five students in the school are experiencing homelessness and living in their vehicles. And what makes matters worse is that in October, all the homeless students living in the vehicles on campus were evicted by the university. So them setting up a successful encampment and taking over two buildings in the university is extremely poetic. If any Cal Poly Humboldt students see this, I personally want to thank you. Thank you for giving us the most iconic revolutionary symbol.